hello guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna talk about single inferno again we are back to talk about episode seven and eight of single inferno so welcome back guys so the new people say june and miso we get to choose the people they want to go to paradise with apparently say june and miso talk individually to other people but they didn't show that we finally get to see who they're interested in who, and they all decide that who they're gonna go to paradise with and it's time to choose for paradise so see john chose so she right everybody was so happy for them and they were happy for so she because she finally get to go to paradise i feel so bad for my girl so john because uh, my girl has been inferno since the first day um i kind of sad for her me so talk to all the guys so she like her talk with yonji and dion so she decided to choose dion to go to paradise way all the other girl asked segi if she's okay because like me so took and uh, dion to go to paradise way nothing is funny like she told segi that <laughs> dion tell everybody that his time with segi in paradise was impactful <laughs> Impact. Impact. Oh, so impact. What? What? Impact. 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 Now we have Joe, like, he's happy because he's gonna have, like, Sega in Inferno with him. Joe, he doesn't really care. He should go to Paradise or see in Inferno for him. One matter is... Seg is yes. On the other side, they show how Seg is say this is the world. So they don't know what's gonna happen. John is happy on his side, is happy because Seg is staying in Feno with him. On the other side, she's like, she's a little bit frustrated that Dion went to paradise. Frustrated that me, so choose Dion to go to paradise with. Now in paradise, we have the new guy, Sojun and Sushi. So Sushi is has been in Feno for such a long time that she learned about all the things that they have in paradise. She learned about the menu, she learned about the pool, she learned about the amusement park. And so it's time to reveal the age and occupation. So since she, she's 23, she's same age as Nadine. And she's a senior in college in the film school. She studied theater and film. She's theater and film major. And probably she will be. Uh, I can't wait for some shit to be like in a movie or something like. I don't know if she's like do like act in a musical way or is he acting. But if some she like five years from now or after seeing the film, she's like in a drama as a hockey. I can't wait to look um, to hear about her performance and stuff like that. See June, the new guy. He's twenty seven. He's a teller. Apparently he was in season one of single fan or like they show a video of Jin Tae walking into the shop and there's a guy who has long hair who created guess who it was? He was uh, Seju. He cut his hair, he had a whole different So she asked uh, Seju why he chose her. He said that she was nice to him when he first get got here at the cafe. So she was talking to him and make him feel comfortable. Later they have like the conversation and so she told Sojun that she's just a friend to everyone. Everybody see her, look at her and see her as a friend. He said, no, it's not the case for me. I don't look at you and see you as a friend. And then she explained the situation that she have with Yonji, like the situation about uh, her, like she liked Yonji. She didn't say like exactly those words, but she said that. Like, there was someone she was interested in, she they didn't work out, and they decided to be friends. On the other side, they showed me so and Jion. Jion look so hot. Jion is so hot. Jion literally look like clacking with those glasses, and you have the body of sperm. And then they have time to reveal Kaya and Opika show yesterday when Jion was in paradise with Sergi, we learned about his profession, like how he was in the army. So he had PTA, he was in the army, UTT, something like that. He was in the army for a lot of time, and I a YouTuber. I'm like, uh, I can't wait to watch your YouTube channel later. So now Misu, the new girl, she's like 25. She's like a CEO in 
online shopping store and she's also feeling a model. I guess she model for her clothes and maybe she do all the modeling on the side. And Jion asked me so why she chose him. He was like trying to like a little bit draw the line, like there's no more time to make connection. He said that kind of he's close to Sergei. After they talked, they went to the swimming pool. He ended up giving her a teacher and swimming lesson. And even the judge, they, they finally noticed that it was more like a French vibe. It was like the similar type of vibe that he had when he was in the pool with Sergei. Now in Inferno, they play a game called X and O. And if you don't want to answer the question, you can pass. But they asked a lot of questions to Sergei. They asked, is there someone that you're curious about? Yeah, like they say in the whole show, she say yes. Is that person that you're curious about is in inferno at the moment? She said yes. So my guy Joe John would know that he at least had a chance with her. So they say if you are feeling for that person, do you express it? If you are feeling for that person, are you gonna express it? She said yes. Once you are feeling for someone, she's very direct and stuff like that. They ask her, so will you be talking to someone who like you more than you like? Then she said no. Now I'm a little bit confused. She hasn't expressed her, her feeling to John Wong. Uh, she hasn't expressed her feeling to Dion yet. So she says she's not. She won't be drawn to someone who like her more. So do you want to find someone you have more feeling for in Inferno? Uh, here she said yes. She said yes to some of the questions that they ask about. We know that it's about uh, John Wong. And she also said yes to other question like she'll be expressed with if she likes someone more and stuff like that. Some of the question about Dion. My conclusion is that Sergey like Dion. She haven't completely closed the door with John, so that possibility is not over. So that door has hasn't been closed like the door that was with Don for that. She like shut it out. So my guy John will still have a chance. The next day is rainy people in Inferno are waiting for the people from Paradise to return. Sergei said that she wanted to spend more time with Dion. You remember when John gave Sergei her book, his book, like and she still have that book. And now she was reading a poem. So the poem said, Don't get too nervous when you meet someone. If you keep tensing up. It is because you're trying too hard, so stop trying too hard. Things will work out eventually. The way the panelists are talking, even the way I, I'm looking at that, I say, oh, what if she applied those feelings to, or this point to Jinyo instead of John Wall? Uh, maybe it would be, it would be something that John Wall is feeling about her. And what if she interpreted it to a different guy? So we don't know yet. So people from Paradise are back. Um, so she looks cute when she's wearing a uh, CJ, but she's wearing this jacket. It's like an oversized type of jacket, very cute. So girl have the girl talk in the home, boys have a boy talk in the home. So she says she feels more comfortable in Inferno now, now that she's been to bad, that she's a little bit more relaxed. The new guy, he said he's, he, he was comfort, he's also comfortable with Sonshi, so he like the connection. And the new girl, Miss Uto, um, the other girl that uh, she talk a lot with Gio and and also they swim a lot and Sergey gave her that look oh you swim I like I swim we hate to we talk a lot too so careful <laughs> now the Korean and I make an announcement so today there's gonna be another game uh who, that they will be playing for paradise I'm like Sejun Sejun my girl the panelists are holding for you. I am holding for you. Everybody there is holding for you. She <laughs> this time the girl will be playing the game. So it's going to be like the Korean wrestling and all the girls, the six girls are getting to be pick like a ball, like depending on the color of the ball that you choose, you will be pairing with that person and you will compete against that person. It's so amazing how the height and the body proportion match the people who will compete against each other. Like 
um, Sergei and Sun, she end up choosing the same ball, and we have like Miss Misu and my girl Jones, Sejun, Sejun, end up choosing the same ball, the same color of the ball, and we have Nadi and Sun, they end up choosing the same color of the ball, same height, same body proportion, so there's no like a disadvantage or advantage for like someone to win against the other person. So the first game, so we have Sergei and so soon she had they have the game and soon she have such a good balance so she end up winning the game again and she win it in six minutes 40 seconds so the second game we have miss soon and my girl serge sejon we have been um, winning for us since the beginning we want her to go to paradise we choose one person to go to paradise especially i'm pretty sure she, she's also interested in g Gion and okay, so they have the fight. And fortunately, my girl will win again. So Miss will win against her in seven minutes in 24 seconds. And the last game we have Nadi against her uh, son. So Nadi, if we learn about her background, she's been playing a lot of sports, she's having a good balance. When you exercise a lot, I don't know, it make you more resistant, you have more like balance and stuff like that. So now I didn't win the game in 7 minutes and 68 seconds. Oh now this is the result. Remember, there were 6 girls, 3 girls win the game. Now we will determine the first, uh, the first person like is determined by the score that you got. So the first girl will be Sun she, she win the game in 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Then we have me Sun she win the game. In seven, Miss with the second has a second place, seven minutes and twenty four seconds, and we have nineteen. Is the third girl? She she win the game in seven minutes and sixty eight seconds. Now after the girl win the game, they're gonna give you a little bit of time to talk to the guys, uh, whoever they want to go to paradise with. So Gio is like talking. He say he really want to stay in Inferno. I like poor John when he learned about that he's kind of worried because he want to use that time to connect more with Sergey. Um, Young J say that he want to stay also in the film. I'm like Young J, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares if you stay in the film or go to paradise. <laughs> okay, so she she's conflicted. She decided to talk to Soon, right? She said that they, she has two people in her mind. Somebody she's thankful for and somebody she care about. So she talked to someone, but I, she talked to someone, right? I was surprised by someone advice who so, or oh, use this as an opportunity. I'm surprised that you win, so pick whoever you want to go to paradise with. I was surprised that her answer led me to believe she might not be into Yonje like she is. She said she is. Uh, maybe I'm, uh, uh, it's just my. And these two episodes, they didn't show a lot of soul going to Yonji like she was like when I was watching episode 5 and 6 and when she came back from Paradise with Hanbi, she was like Yonji, Yonji, Yonji. They didn't show a lot of her with Yonji this time. I'm like, she might not be that into Yonji anymore. I don't know. Her advice gave me kind of thinking, make me think, is she that into Yonji? I don't know. And now, Najin want to talk to Gio and Gio is so popular. Gio was talking to like, Sejo my girl first they were like in the room after he talked Najin told him to talk by the by the or by the beach like you know those two chairs outside next to the beach he talked to her and they having a nice talk. When when they talk so they seem to vibe a lot and they're having a, like a fun conversation and Najin asked Jin Yo what kind of people he's trying to like. Is there someone here that is him interested? Yeah, Jin Yo said he likes someone that he is curious about. He likes someone who makes his heart race. And he likes someone who he has fun with. And Najin said, oh, okay, so you like someone you're curious about. You like someone who makes your heart race. And you like someone who you have fun with. So there are three people that you like right now. He didn't deny it, but he told Nadine, uh, uh, I'm curious about you, so you're the person who's curious about you. He, he found her shining, that's what he told Nadine. 
and so that he was kind of happy so they talk and they were talking about movies was coming already but the conversation couldn't go further they were talking about like a uh, homeless versus middle middle drama i'm not for me homeless is like homeless is type of movie all we all know and middle drama is like the sad type of homeless the one that has tragedy somebody die and you love someone but the person end up getting sick and stuff like that there's always a sad middle drama has a sad turn a sad turn to the Drama why homeless is very like oh I mean love this happened the sky is beautiful everything is happy unfortunately me so came to talk to Gio and we couldn't hear much about that conversation and uh, Nadine and Gio we come back to the conversation and uh, Gio have with me so so let's talk about Sergey first. During that time Sergey said that it's difficult to understand Gio right now. He's so popular, so he, he's, he's talking to a lot of people, you know. So, Sergi wanted to talk to Joan, right? And she was kind of sad. She was, like, crying a little bit. And there's something funny that happened here because, like, Joan wanted, like, <laughs> you know, when somebody cried, you gave the person a tissue, like, to wipe the chair. And my boy ended up giving her the tissue that's wet. <laughs> With Nadine, oh my gosh, she was alive. It became like a comedy, a comedic moment. Like they were just laughing, and then he clapped. Like they tried while he gave it to her. John is not even trying. That guy is funny. <laughs> it's fun to be around. Um, yeah, he kind of make her day. So because she was kind of sad, and they finally have like this serious talk. So you can see that she's. Having a hard day, and uh, the first person who come in her mind when she's having like a bad day is John. So it must have been difficult for him since like they got to to inferno. He has been there since the day one. He haven't had the opportunity to go to Parada with anyone. He was just there since the beginning. John said that I just follow my heart since the beginning. So since day one, and said he was like surprised by his. Answer so like it's like that look also you like me since the day one there was nobody else she didn't say that but I can make her mind she have that type of look she was surprised by that he said John say I don't expect you I don't expect anything in return I just follow my heart so that's how that's how I feel and said he said that she wanted to if she she wanted to win the game she wanted to win the game if she will won the game she would go to Paradise with John. Ah, but she didn't win. Sergi asked John what he has been doing in Inferno since day one. John was so funny. He said like, I've been reading a lot of books. I have, I got a bunch of books, and I have been uh, making a lot of fire. <laughs> that me cooking and stuff like that. Oh my God, John was, he's so funny. So now the, let's go back to the talk between. Um, Min, Minsu and Gio, so they were talking after like he, Gio was done talking to Nadine, so Gio told me, so like remember he was in paradise with her, we just talked about that a few minutes ago, he was in paradise with her and when he was in paradise he was telling her right now he's close to someone named Sergei, so he, it's hard to like a little bit draw the line that he's not that interested in her so he told her and um, this is a great opportunity for you to talk to other people because it's a hard opportunity so that when we all we went to like paradise yesterday it would be good if you talk to other people but he was talking to her about that so it would be good if you talk to other people before you make your decision to go to paradise and now it's time to choose paradise and this is where episode 8 starts so she Remember, she says she's curious about Yonje and she's thankful for the new guy, Sejun. Okay, time for Soshi to choose for Pada. Soshi chose Hanbi. Even the panelists were so surprised by Soshi's decision. One of the panelists, the guy from Super Junior, he said that, oh, she's lying to herself. Like, this say, like, she just said she was, she, she was all by two people. The person she wanted to buy that's where she was comfortable with and the person she liked, Yonji. Why 
Do you should decide to choose Harambe out of Salad. And so the other female panelist was high to explain the situation. But I was surprised also. Young just, just fell, Young just fell her leave. Her leave that she didn't beg him. And yeah. And when Harambe was like getting up to go, it's like he was just worried for the other people who's going to cook for them. And it's time for me so to make her choice. Remember, so she had the first choice. She was free to choose anyone among the six guys. And Miso had the second choice. Since the one guy has been picked, she had the choice to see anyone, choose anyone among the five guys left. So Miso chose who. Guess why she chose Gio again. Even though Gio tried to let her know it would be better if you talk to other people. I'm interested in someone they say she still chose him. Oh my I mean, I said at least she was true to herself. She didn't try to like do like some she and choose a handle person. She was true to herself, so good for her. But Sergi, it wasn't good for Sergi. It wasn't good for Nadine because Nadine, after she talked to Dio, she really wanted to go to paradise with Dio, and then miso took her choice you have no choice at choosing anyone else and it's not gonna be about Dom. at least nadine understand that when she talked to Dom, or Dom was like yeah talk to other people she was like she was turned off by that she's like he's not interested like, why is she gonna keep chasing him she understand that and she finds somebody that she's more curious about and that person is dio so that's why that's the person she was planning to choose right but Misu took the person, so Nadine has no choice that chose another person and the name that came in her mind was Yonji, so Nadine chose Yonji. So Yonji looks very surprised by Nadine's calling his name, but the funny thing, Yonji, you're a scammer. Yonji is either, remember episode 3 and 4, remember Yonji chose who? Nadine. But at that time, Yonji was just using Nadine as a strategy. To get out because he didn't want to choose my girl Sandro, he didn't want to choose Sunshi, and now he's surprised that Nadine chose him. So so far, all the girl, I'm like all the girl wasting the paradise ticket by choosing the wrong person. Me so because she chose someone who clearly drawing the line is not interesting her, and Sunshi was too scared to choose the person she's actually interested because she didn't want to make him feel uncomfortable. My girl. Um, Nadine had no choice but to choose somebody else. Six people end up going to paradise. Nadine with Yonji, Sanshi with Hanbi, and Misu with Dion. And the six people that's with Inferno, that three girls and three boys. The three guys are John Wu, uh, Sejun, the new guy, Dong Wu, and the three girls are Sejun, the my girl, Sergi, and so on. Those are the six people in the Inferno, and they're like, they all agree, like, it's just less comfortable. It's like every single one of them are not interested to the person who is there, and said John was interested in Sergei, so they're just like, just comfortable. And they're gonna have the dinner, it's gonna be like pork belly or samisa or something. That, uh, in the kitchen, John is taking care of Sergei, he always taking care of Sergei. I completely forgot that Don was there in the kitchen, because you know, Don gave Sergei some glove. And John was like the one putting the glove into a uh, second hand so that she doesn't make her hair dirty. I'm like, after doing the dinner, after they were eating, they take a lot of pictures. I love that John was saying that taking selfie, and this, and then just everybody's like, not everyone, but some of them were cheesing there. You're wasting all the fame from the camera, the apology. I didn't take a bunch of pictures. And they have so much fun. And after they end up playing with firework, it was just. Inferno was becoming more like paradise because paradise seems more like Inferno because the three people who went in Inferno they clearly went with the person that you are not gonna choose. Let's be honest. At the end, they are, maybe some might choose. You are not gonna choose each other at the end. So it was kind of the waste of paradise. Inferno feel more fun. So I like. I was catching the vibe for Inferno. If I have to, be, I just wanna be in Inferno right now, play with the firework, eating. 
just having in barbecue food and just having fun you know and later a little bit later they were just talking play again those honest again they were talking at home and one of the people and the people for infinity all the people for infinity asked the new guy like, were you not happy about the decision something made to choose like um uh, humble to go to buy that's what you, and the new guy said no i respect her decision so she does anything i'm happy she make the decision that make her happy so and they were playing the game again they asked the patients to say gay so do you want to go to paradise with anyone other than the people you already been with she said yes and joe despite that joe gave was everything oh my god joe looks so happy he's so cute he is so cute and my guess on june and soon want to find out what's going on with Sergi. You know, during the day, you gave all those clues that you are really interested in my guy, Joe. And also, and you're also interested in Gio. So they asked her the question. They want to know who Sergi like because she didn't completely make it clear. Nobody really knows what's going on. But we clearly see through the TV that she like Dion a little bit more. Like, she like Dion for sure. But she care about Joe. And I love Joe. I love Joe so much. Yeah. And but Joe is such a great guy who's taking care of her, who pay attention to her when nobody else pay attention to her and do stuff that people don't notice. She like that about him. Uh, she said that she haven't made her decision yet. She will decide tomorrow. And, okay, we will see. Just keep us up there, Sergey, who you like. <laughs> so now let's go to paradise. Let's talk about those three people, those couple in that. Actually, we don't really care about so but we have to talk about them. So Sonshi and Hambi. So Sonshi said that she chose Hambi because she's the person she feels the most comfortable with. And Hambi said that everyone was so happy for some she went yesterday she went to paradise with the new girl but he knew that um, he knew that she was not so happy about that. Mm, that's good to notice. And some she and Hambi are good friends right now. It's like it's like they're taking care of each other. They are bonded because the people they like like each other. <laughs> that's how they bonded. They are both like they're both like the second lead, the second female lead, the second male lead in the case. I'm a couple. Okay, let's talk about Nadine and Yonji. So Nadine and Yonji, they haven't talked much and they know that. So Yonji said that Nadine is not interested in him. She chose him just as a friend. And Nadine is like at least Nadine is honest. She's like, I wanted you to Gia, but I'm the third person to choose. I couldn't choose him. Somebody else took him already. And they kind of agree yeah. that they're gonna come up with a strategy all night for her to get Gio. Oh my god, Gio, you're popular. <laughs> yeah. Nadine's not interested in him at all. And she make it clear. Now we have Gio and Misu take two because they were in paradise they, they were. It's so interesting that if you like someone, being with a person the second time would be like very nice to make your connection go but if you're not that into the person it's feel like ugh, it's hard to look at okay Mr. choose Dion again after they talk by the beach by the beach when he was talking he was literally telling her it would be nice for you to talk to all the guys but she didn't really listen what he was saying Dion told me so that he's too comfortable around her when it's too no, comfortable, it's not so good because he likes to be a little bit uncomfortable around the person that he likes, you know, just a little bit. So he say that he doesn't see her in a romantic way, so he has to make it clear now. Instead of giving like the openness, he has to like draw the line for it all this time. So Gio, make it clear so that she knows that he's not interested in her, but he's still be so nice to her. That's how I decided that Gio is a great guy. Like, maybe I judged Gio a little bit because when he came in episode 3 and 4, he said, I like someone who's pretty. I'm like, okay, you are you that superficial? No, he's a very handsome guy, good looking, but he's also a great guy. I love the way he draws the line here. That makes him be a very good guy. So I like that about him. Good luck, Sergey. <laughs> you have two great match. Good luck.
Miss Susie, that she doesn't regret her decision because she's here to make good memory. She will get a big take someone that she's interested in instead of just picking another person to come to paradise with. Good for her also to be honest with her feelings. I think that's about it. So like you see that since she came back from paradise, from paradise with Gio, they haven't have they haven't have talked much. You know, Gio has been talking to a lot of other guys. They are like three other people, so they haven't had a lot of talk. He's <laughs> very popular. They show something very interesting. Yeah, they saw my girl Sonju and they saw Don Juan. They have like a sexy shot, camera kind of like commercial looking, like they put some sunscreen on the body just just standing by the pool and stuff like that I'm like do that do that ship them a little bit they are the two sexy people of the season so they show those shots it was like slow motion i like that my girl son you get some script like, even though she's not making like connection with the guys there but she's still like beautiful sexy girl good for her so yeah but she's getting some screen time at least because some dating show like if you don't make the connection with a guy they just completely erase you from the editing room <laughs> a lot of dating show even the show that i like the bachelor unless you're a funny person <laughs> okay okay so i almost shipped that i almost shipped that but i don't know that one was like oh, too much like, after the connection with seg it didn't work for don i don't know who Don was interested in. He doesn't like make an advance for another girl. He literally, he was interested in Segi and he kind of like turned off the connection with Nadine. Now Nadine is interested in Gio. I don't know what's going on with Don to tell you the truth. People from Paradise are back and Joe, Joe, oh my God, what are you doing this to yourself? Joe, he giving all the tea to Gio and Yonje. Not a good idea, my guy. So he telling them that you know, because they asked him what's going on, what happened when we were gone. He said, "Oh, we took picture, we ate some we have uh, fireworks, so they had a great time. So we have a bunch of pictures there in the cafeteria. Don't tell them how what he did. So in the cafe, Nadia and Yonji went to see the picture. Seg is in the cafe also with John Um Say we have like two, two, a small talk with, with Gio and Gio asked her how was Inferno, how was uh, her time in Inferno. Say he said, oh, I had a great time. And she's not, she's not lying. It was a great evening. It was so much better than watching people from paradise. And the party was in Inferno. So she went back to talk with Joe. And... I didn't like the conversation that Jion and Yonji are, are having. Not not on Jion's side. Jion is a good guy. I already tell you. Even though I love, love you of Yonji, Jion is also a great guy. Great guy. Because like Jion was asking what's going on between um Joe and Sergey. I didn't like the way um Young just said, oh, he has been there with her since day one and not, he's always around her since day one and nothing really happened so she doesn't like him, she's not interested in him. I'm like, what do you have to say that it's none of your business? At least my guy Joe is the honest guy. He even tells Sergei that I like you, I was interested in you since day one so I, I didn't see all of that because I was interested in you, I just followed my heart. It's none of your business to say that. See, at least it's not sneaky as you who say I want to meet all the lady and make my decision. What kind of answer is that? And in the you just wanted to talk to the Mimi Son. He at least you know, John is true to his feeling. He doesn't try to deny, he doesn't try to write. He's going to what that he's such a good guy. And I don't like that Young just talking about uh and uh, John behind his back but Gio wasn't like talking badly about Joe so I have no problem with Gio he's true to his feeling he's very caring that's what Sergi care he's very good that's what Sergi care about it. and that connection might go you it's every connection is not always two people instantly fall in love with each other somebody might care for someone more than the other person 
and you call to like the other person more. So she care about him. She appreciate what he does for her. And that's why I say, Joe is so considerate to, so considerate to say it. Even when he's salty or coming, he didn't try to like, oh, it's my territory. I'm talking to her right now. He let Sergi talk to Gio. Even Gio was touched by the fact that <laughs> Joe is letting him talking to Sergi because he doesn't own Sergi. He let her have a freedom. He let her do whatever she wanted to do. Remember the last time when he was talking? After like young, uh, after Sergi talked to Dongwon, like the day that she decided to finish that connection with Dongwon, and then she talked to Jin on that same day, and then and um, John wanted to talk to her. She said she's tired. He really appreciated. He just let it go. He said okay. Sergi said we're gonna talk in the morning. He, he appreciated that. He let her go to sleep. He that's the day he gave her the book. And the next day they showed they were having a conversation. He's very respectful. That's what I'm saying about John. Who I really like that. He let Sergi talk to Dio and he excused himself. That was very nice. And they both started talking, but they couldn't. The conversation wasn't flowing at all. I don't know. They both seemed very nervous. Since they both, uh, since Sergi went to paradise with Gio, it was like two nights ago. It things move fast in the daily show. They can't talk. Since then, she, uh, Gio um, has been talking to three other girls. And we know ab among those three other girls, he's also interested in two people. One he's curious about, one he has fun with. So <sighs> it's complicated. So they tried to have a conversation, but it wasn't flowing at all. Then Gio make a joke like, I can't even say a word. Why do you guys talk for so long? I can't even say something. They didn't really talk. 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 A long conversation to all. Where Gio is about, where is it at? Segi doesn't know that. And Segi still try to make a decision who she's going to choose because we are heading toward the end. I'm like, Gio is hot. It also seems like a good guy. I like to, honestly, I like both guys. They're both guys. Both good guys. If she choose Gio at the end, it would be like, maybe she like Gio more. And I wouldn't be like mad like she choose Gio. I love Joe. I would have been mad she chose Dion because Dion not only is handsome and everything like you think a guy who look like that would be a jerk but he's not a jerk he's a very good guy and also if she chose uh, John Woo at the end she chose John Woo, I would be so happy because he's such a great guy he's so caring he's taking care of her that's what she said about it and they have they they have those moments that they laugh like like the Yoseki like by the water you're pretty. And in the home where he gave her the white tissue, and like they have those moments, and you feel like, oh, if there's something that is she liking, then we have a really great relationship. So, I mean, it's up to her who she wants, it's like who she sees herself. Him in the long run, and we never know the Korean dating show. It's like when you are a hard senior and everything, people end up not even dating, not anything. It's up to her who she wants to choose, but I know. John, I know that if she chose him, she would date him. He's a great guy. To tell you too, John is my favorite right now. At the beginning, Hanby was my favorite, but I'm going to love John even more. His cuteness is overboard. Uh, I hope, I wish all the other guys see that. He's, and I love that he's, he's friend with, with Sejo. They joke about how he's friend with Nadi. They all spot his love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Even with Sunshine, so. Because he has been an inferno with those girls since the beginning. So the Korean and I make another announcement. It's going to be another game and similar to the last time. The thing is that like, three people will be choosing. Three people will win. And those three people will decide to go to paradise with the person they want to go to paradise with. And this time it with the guy who played the game and the game is a wrestling type of game and they are like in the ring, it's not really the ring, it's like it's outside by the beach. It's like six guys are there and it's all about strategy. The strategy is like you have to carry the other person out of the ring. If the person is out, his two feet touch out of his body is out, he's eliminated. 
at the end we need at least three people, three people we will go to buy that and depending on the person who is first, second, third, the last person standing will have the choice who to take to buy that suite and then the second person the choice about five people and third person the choice about four people. This is a very interesting game because there's a lot of people who like the same person and the goal and the strategy of this game is to eliminate your competitor to be the last person standing. Okay, this is how the game goes. So the six guys are going to push each other out of the ring, eliminate you. If you feel that also you get eliminated or your body's also you get eliminated. So it's the survival of the fetus. See John, see, see John, the new guy start, he first he attack the other guy many times and at the end what happened, <laughs> they carry him, he fight but they carry him outside the ring, five minutes so after so I give up, <laughs> they put him outside, the judge was just, they come, and the family was just laughing about that, he tried to write it, but let me, he got it in the <laughs> The way he said I gave up, he said I can't I do it, it was funny. And he's the first person who got eliminated. And the second person who got eliminated is Don Juan. You know Don Juan, I don't know if he's still fighting for circuit, but the goal was to remove, like, remove your competitors so they keep attacking each other, take the kick up. And Don Juan is the next person who's out of the ring, like Happy is the one happy carrying people out of the ring. And who's the next? Unfortunately, the guy who always had people carry other people all the way out of the ring also is the next victim because unfortunately, Hank is the one who gets eliminated. We have three people left. Listen, the three people left Dion, John, and Yonji. I'm talking about that because early we have the conversation with Dion. And Yonji, not like Dion is not really at fault. It's like what Yonji was saying. Like there has been close and kind of team up, and the goal will be to eliminate John, eliminate John, so that Dion is taking second to power. Them. This is how it go, and it's not good for John because Dion and Yonji get along well. Before this crazy intense final game between the three people, Dion has been attacking or trying to get John Woo off the ring so many times. But John Woo was so resistant, so persistent, he had to given up. Um, they tried many times to get him off the gym, but the guy is fighting. He's like very, he got a good balance, just like Sonshi. I'm like, I'm scared now for him because it's like more like two against one. The three of them will definitely go to paradise, but that's not what matters. It's not going to paradise that matters, but it's the order, the placement, who go first, who is the first one, who's the winner, who's the second one, or who's the third one. That's the most important. Yonji has nothing to worry about because we all know that he likes so he make it clear during the previous episode. Uh, episode. The real game is between Jinyo and Jong. That's the real game. This is where we have... This is what we have to pay attention to. Sadly for John Woo, Yonje is siding with Jion. Jion, like I said, you, they have that talk in the kitchen. We saw what he was saying about John Woo. This is where the game begins. Two against one, it doesn't mean everything is over. Jion was trying to get John Woo off the ring. John Woo fight by like his life was depending on it. He fight by so hard. And he was trying, and during that time, even when you were watching the game with John Woo, right? Sergi was hiding in the background. She was kind of scared. She was to want John Woo to get to her. She was hiding in the background. Now, in the attempt for Young J and Ji Young to get John Woo off of the ring, and Ji Young took Young J like that and he tried to get her off the ring, he fell first. And it was so fast, both of them fell outside of the ring, but Young J was still in the ring, so technically Young J is the first place. Now the most important part was to determine who is second and who is third, because Depending who is second and third, it's important who is the second person will make the choice first to go to paradise. Who he, who he wants to go to paradise with. 
So this was really like the final. It wasn't like nobody cared about the first one. It was already the second and the third place. And then who went the camera to see? I wasn't sure who was even after I check again. Yes. Dion fell first. He fell, his body touched the ground also first. And then John would touch the ground second. This was everything. This was everything because it changed everything and I'm so happy. So as a result, Yonja is the first. We already know that John has the second place. John, the Inferno King. The guy who has been in Inferno since day one. We go in paradise. Hopefully, with the girl that he likes. I am so freaking happy for Joe. I am so happy I can express my happiness. Unless Yon just does something sneaky and choose Sergi to paradise. That would be like, I would be done with Yon Jay. If Yon Jay does that, I would be done with him. I would be done. Now he has to do one more sneaky thing and I'm done with him. He won't be doing that. He won't be wasting his time in paradise to block somebody else's connection. No matter how good of a friend he is to Dion. So, Yonje first, John second, and Dion third. Yonje, he probably gonna choose soon. This is where the episode ended. Now it's just like me talking. Yonje is probably gonna choose soon. I don't know. They, that connection has been dry. The last two episodes. I don't know what's going on there. My God, Joe, we finally choose the girl of his dream. And the third person is Gion. So I think Gion is going to choose soon. And um, John Woo, the second person will choose Sergei. And the third person, Gion, he will choose Nancy. This is my, this is my speculation what's going to happen in the pairing. Only God knows. So next week will be, by the time I post this video, the final will be on already because I, I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> So by that time we will know who is who is Sergi choose at the end. Whoever she choose, both guys are great. I'm a little bit biased because I like Joe. And oh my god, this game is dangerous. I just wanted to say it at the end. Uh, I was so worried for Joe. I was worried. You can see all the guys, their body has so many head mind. This game is dangerous. I was like, I feel like it was a real game. And maybe it's the way they edited. It looked dangerous to me. So we will find out what happened next week and I'm so happy I just, just wanted to say thank you for the view that I got in the first episode 1 and 2 for single thing. I know I'm I'm not a big uh, YouTuber, I have like a small amount of subscriber, like 38, but I'm gonna keep going. The fact that I got 200 views on the first video is pretty amazing to me. I mean I'm doing something right, I mean the channel is going slowly, but my goal is to get a hundred subscribers by the end of this year. Please help me. Thank you so much for watching episode 7 and 8 of Single Inferno Season 2. I will be back to talk about the last two episodes, the final. Thank you so much.